the top of the show, we're getting to share time with the pros behind some of the pros that we know really, really well. So friends of ours, people that we trust and love, we're getting even more advice from them today on the people that they use to help their lives be a little healthier, better, or more successful for them in one way or another. We're gonna start off with Tommy Daddario. Tommy Daddario is not only brilliant and gives us great material for our show, Tommy is also one of the healthiest people that I know on the planet Earth. Today, he's going to share with us some time with his actual trainer, Don Saladino. Uh, they also cook together, which is super fun. Uh, so here's Tommy and his trainer, Don Saladino. Guys, this is the man, the myth, the legend, Don Saladino. So Don is amazing, and I'm not the only one that thinks that because he trains stars like Blake Lively, Ryan Reynolds, Anne Hathaway, and Sebastian Stan, and he keeps all of us in tip-top shape. Let's see how you're moving right now. We're gonna have some fun today. I recommend my clients start their workouts with about five minutes of foam rolling. I want you to roll your quads, your glutes, your hamstrings, your lats. It's just a great way to start with some introductory movement. A lot of people think warming up is all about cardio, heart rate, treadmills. Warming up can be about mobility. Now we gotta get those hips to open up a little bit. So I want us to sit into that lunge laterally, back to the middle, to the other side. The point of the lateral lunges is to get those hips moving laterally. So much of what we do with the way that we walk, it's all in a straight line. So we stop losing the ability to move from side to side. It needs no coaching. All right, we're gonna get down on the ground and we're gonna go into some glute bridges. We're gonna lay on the ground onto a mat and we're gonna drive those hips up, really feeling like you're getting those glutes to flex. We're gonna lower back down. Or if it's too easy, we can go into a little bit more of an advanced move, which is gonna be a one-legged glute bridge. We sit so much throughout the day. And because we're sitting throughout the day, our glutes are almost in a way going to sleep. Our glutes aren't firing properly. We could develop knee pain. We could develop low back pain. I like to make sure that we are attacking that area several times a week because I need our glutes strong. All right, brother, how you feeling? Feeling good. All right, let's go into some cats and dogs. Now, what I love about this is we're gonna unwind that spine. So I want you to arch your back, take it to the ceiling, and then push away from the floor around our chin to our chest. Doing cats and dogs, this is a staple in my programs. It's just really allowing us to regain some loss of freedom out of our neck, out of our mid spine, regaining some length in the body. One great thing about all these moves is you can do them anywhere. Now we're gonna go into our full body workout. We're gonna start with some split squats. The split squat is a compound movement where we're working on the quads, the hamstrings, and the glutes. That was great, that was a lunge, but I want you to leave that foot on the ground there. Now stand up and back down. Now we're gonna try not to drive that knee forward. Yes, that's what I want. So notice how that knee and that tibia is gonna be in a straight line. The best thing about this, if you don't have access to dumbbells, you don't need to use them. You can grab some water bottles. You can grab some gallon water jugs if you're feeling like you're strong. It's always a workout with Don. And what I love is simple moves really get your heart rate up. You can hear it, right? And it's not always about lifting super heavy, which was admittedly my mistake in the past because then you lose your form. So it's about getting deep in your movements, but doing them right. We're gonna go into a dumbbell floor press. Okay. We're working on a lot of chest, shoulders, triceps. Now, we didn't need a bench with Tommy. We were able just to put him on the floor, get him very controlled fashion, resting those elbows on the ground, and driving up. And the best part is if you don't have access to a pair of dumbbells, you can go right into a push-up. A push-up can be done by anybody. Now, I get a lot of people coming to me saying, I can't do push-ups. We can do it on my desk. We can do it on a couch. We can do them kneeling. Find a level that's comfortable for you, slowly build up and increase over time. You'll be able to do them as well as Tommy said. So the last move right now we're gonna do is called a bent over dumbbell row. The point of this move is to work on that posterior chain. It's to work on posture. It's to get the muscles of our back strong, the muscles of our biceps strong, and to bring balance into our physique. So my one piece of advice is, if you've been struggling to get off the couch, do something, have fun. It could be a walk. Just start with getting your steps in. Start with some hydration. Getting half your body weight in ounces of water is a great place to start. If you are watching this right now, I challenge you to get up and get moving. I'm cheering you on. Guys, that was really great. There was so much there that is accessible. 
And that's my compliment to you guys for sharing that information. Do you think that's that's really the key is making things more accessible for people? 100%. I mean, I, I think the mistake that we make in fitness is that we're always putting out these long, you know, you know, long drawn out programs where the reality is, is we need to take a minimalistic approach with the general population. If you're someone that's struggling to get off the couch for five minutes, well, let's just start with five minutes or, or let's start with four minutes. Let's start a little right. bit less. The idea is to get someone moving, to allow them to feel good rather than getting on a scale and saying, oh, where's my weight and quantifying my success through scale. Let's quantify it through a feeling. If we can get someone feeling good, energy's high, they're going to want to rinse and repeat. I really love you guys in teaming up on this because you're giving people really important information that's very specific. And I think very useful for so many. Well, Rach, and Rach, you know, you know that it's not just about working out. It's about nutrition as well, which is where this guy has come in. Um, yes. He has taught me so much about nutrition. And wait till you see what he's going to make for all of us today. Yeah, you're doing quinoa chicken parm, correct? Yeah, it's, it's, it's not your normal chicken parm. I mean, obviously, we're Italian, and, we, and there's certain foods that we like in our life. And I really believe that we need to enjoy our food. Right? I think in, in the fitness world, everyone's under the assumption that they have to eat steamed chicken and rice. And I want our food to be powerful, colorful, and delicious, and uh, the rest will take care of itself. Those are great words. Go for it. All right, cool. We're going to just start with a basic, you know, chicken breast. We're going to pound this out according to how thin you want it. I mean, the breast is pretty much going to come out to looking about like this. And at that point, we have some basic ingredients here, salt, pepper, uh, white uh, rice flour or brown rice flour, because I prefer to keep things a bit gluten free, especially if you're gluten intolerant. Uh, we have our quinoa flakes. We have our um, oat um, our grounded flax, which is great for omegas, anti-inflammatories, um, and we have our nutritional yeast. And then we're going to top it off with some olive oil. We're going to air fry it because, you know, me being a, a, a parent of two, I want to just throw it in somewhere and leave it and have a little bit of that crispness, a little bit of that crunch. So let's start adding all three of those ingredients all in. Right. We're going to, Tommy and I are going to team up right now. We're going to have a little bit of fun. Uh, we're going to get everyone involved here. Cracking the egg, this is uh, fast and efficient. Nutritional yeast, guys, if, if you don't use it a lot, that is um, the ingredient that mimics gr grated cheese. So grated Parmigiano or grated Parmesan or grated uh, Pecorino. That's what's mimicking that in, in the dish. And you're getting your, instead of a breadcrumb, uh, these guys are using the quinoa flakes. So you, you're getting a really dense, uh, in nutrition and high in protein dish here um, with not a lot of effort. Yeah, and what's great is exactly what you said. This does not take effort. You throw things in literally three bowls. You get your hands a little dirty. It could be a family affair. You pat the toppings right on like that. And I mean, this couldn't be easier. Eating healthy does not have to be difficult. And that's what I love about the recipes that Don shows, um, shows me and then has taught me is, is they're delicious. How often do you guys get to cook together? Not enough. Not enough, Aww. but um, I think I, I show up at his house sometimes and say, let's go. And he's like, uh, did I ask you to be here? <laughs> 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 All right, so now, Don, what are you doing? So just basing a little bit of olive oil on the chicken breast, mm -hmm. we're going to throw it now into the air fryer. We have one going over here to show a little bit of a finished product. It's going to get a little messy. We're going to have some fun with it. We're going to close out. We're going to hit start. Amazing. And then we're going to want to throw some greens on the side. I like making sure the dishes are powerful. If you're really feeling Italian here and you want to throw a little pasta on it, I would recommend a little you know, brown rice pasta, a little bit of gluten-free pasta. My wife, who likes to eat uh, a little less clean than I do, she will definitely throw some mozzarella on it, which I think if you're into it, do it. Have some fun. The idea is to enjoy your food, making some different choices, using some healthier, more powerful ingredients are going to go a long way for you. So that's funny that your wife eats differently than you do. Does oh, yeah. that become a bone of contention in the kitchen? Or are you no, the primary I've learned, cook? I've learned to stay out of her way. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm not okay. fighting that, but no. <laughs> that's a smart choice, my friend. A smart choice. I and you know what I love too, even with your kids, like you don't pressure your kids to eat the way you eat all the time, right? No, I mean, I, listen, I try and make good choices. I try and lead by example. And ironically, I have a 15 year old daughter and a 14 year old boy and they, they start making better food choices. You know, I want them to enjoy things in life that they want to have, but when we're at home and we're eating like this and they don't know the difference, you know, I, I feel like I'm doing a good thing for them. When it comes to kids 
And I, it's so funny because I just have dogs. I don't have human children, never have. Uh, but I certainly spend a lot of time cooking with them, feeding them, and trying to get them to eat more nutritious foods, whether they're in school or at home. If you raise them with, with these great full foods, they'll make those choices on their own. But you can't force feed people at any age, in my opinion, at any age. I couldn't agree more. Now, check this out. This is the finished, beautiful plate. Oh, it's gorgeous. But one thing I'll say to you, Rach, is last time when you and I were cooking, you got me a little uh, feeling good on some wine. Where's the wine, Don? Where's the wine? Vino Rosa. Yeah, you can't have a chicken farm without a glass of wine. I'm, I'm going in. I'm going in. This Take is a bite, bite for you, Rach, all right? It looks gorgeous. Nice and crunchy. And what did you do mm. for the red sauce? Tomato basil? What, what's yeah, the sauce, Yeah, just a basic guys? tomato base. Sometimes I get lazy and I just go for a canned tomato sauce. I'm sorry to admit that, but, you know, I'm, I'm, I need things that are quick, that are on the go. That's okay. It works. That's delicious. This is unbelievable, Rach. I wish you could try it. One of your faves, right, babe? One of uh, my tell favorites. Me, he, he, he never steers me wrong. I, tell me, you know how much I adore you. And I have to say, it is so great to make not only your acquaintance uh, and your trainer, but to have you guys together, like you tag team really, really well. Thank you. Don, you're awesome. You're welcome at any time as well. And I'm so happy you guys can meet. Family meeting family. This is one of the best guys in the world. Thank Rachel, you. know I love you. Rachel, thank you so much. This is great. Uh, up next is my great, great friend, another great friend of mine. Zana is up next. Coming right up right after this. Bye, guys. Great thank job. you. Oh, I love you. Thank you so much. Love you too.